excited to be back on Cape Cod. I spent the winter in Florida and decided to come home in mid-April because I knew it was going to be gorgeous here. Ha, 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 ha. It isn't so gorgeous. It's a little dark and gray compared to the sunny Florida weather. But when I came back, I found out that Mashpee TV had won a very prestigious award, the National Award for Overall Media Excellence. Uh, the TV station found out in April, they're accepting the award in July, and um, I feel very, very proud of everybody here. You may notice my two co-hosts aren't with me today, though they will be back for our June 12th show, but I have a guest that I'm very excited about that I met kind of accidentally. Madeline Holt. Hi, Betsy. Nice to have you yes, here. Yes, I was delighted to meet you too. Well, I got a call from Kathy Aston, who's an author that we had on the show, uh, geez, I think about a year ago. And she told me all about what you do and asked me if I would ever be interested in helping out there. So, Madeline is involved with Books in the World and is going to tell you a little bit about that, what that is. People keep telling me on the Cape, there's nothing to do, there's nothing to do. <laughs> I'm here seven years and I just found out about books in the world. Well, that's probably because you're not an author currently writing a manuscript. No, I'm not. No, okay, so Books in the World is a production, a t cable TV production. It's produced out of the Dennisport Community Cable TV Station. And it was created by the Cape Cod Writers Center, which is a Cape organization that's been around for 56 years. In really? fact, the 57th annual conference is coming up. And Books in the World was an offshoot of that, while well, it's still produced by the Cape Cod Writers uh -huh. Center, uh, started uh, 40 years ago. So that's, you know, 1978, I think it is. So. It's, it's a very interesting story. The 1978? Writing, yeah, is that 40 years ago? Wow, that Wait, is a long yeah. time ago. Yes. It's, that's about when cable TV... Exactly, exactly. Marion Vuillemere, who a lot of people knew on the Cape, she was a writer and she was a mover and a shaker uh -huh. in that world, in the literary world, and she was there when they said, you know, community television is now going to be available to organizations that have an educational role or a community uh, civic role. And she said, I'm going to do this for authors because authors don't have a lot of opportunity for publicity if they're not well known. You know? sure. So this was an idea. Let's interview CAPE authors and give them a chance to get some publicity learn about interviewing and sharpen their skills and talking about their their works because you know they have to pitch they absolutely have to pitch practice absolutely you know? but what i want to know is how you got involved in that how? you have a background as a librarian I is do. that right i do i uh -huh. was the director of the ames free library in easton uh, Easton Mass, and we had a TV show called Book Lovers of Easton. We created mm -hmm. it. Oh, terrific. No, there was a time when librarians, this was in the, in the 90s, librarians were working hard to stay relevant. And right. Bring, they brought computers in uh -huh. and, and they started all kinds of outreach, and one of the things was that we did was have a community TV show. So people that I knew knew that I was moving to the Cape and uh, said, you ought to get in touch with the Books in the World folks because oh. they'd like to have you be an interviewer. So that's how I got involved. So that's great. Now, is this on every day, once a week, once a month? Well, how does it work? Well, we, we um, record uh, twice a month. We have two authors each time. So we have about 44 interviews a year. Wow, is, that's a lot. It is a lot. And um, then they're shown intermittently on the cable TV show, mm -hmm. uh, the network. They run them for about two or three weeks each show. Then we upload them to YouTube, and the authors can use that um, link as publicity for their own work. Same as our show. We just use it for publicity. You know, <laughs> so, if anyone wants to discover any of the three of us that are usually here. <laughs> so who is the most well-known author that you've ever interviewed? Probably um, Nathaniel Philbrick or William Martin. Um, 
Yeah, people do know William Martin is the one who wrote Cape Cod and Back Bay. These are very heavy-duty historical writers. Right, <laughs> right, <laughs> very. <laughs> very, but charming, uh -huh. and, you know, very uh, gracious. And But we've had other people, Cape writers like Kathy Aspen, who you mentioned, and there's also quite a few people who are first novelists or self-published. And they're all working very hard to um, learn about how to promote their books. And I saw that you had the gal who wrote Deep End of the Ocean, which was a book I loved. Yes, yes. So yes, can... yes, ja Jackie Machard. Right. Yes, Jackie Machard is like one of the queens of Absolutely. literary fiction. She was the very first um, Oprah book club winner. You know, I was right. <laughs> there are times when I am in awe of sitting across from these people. Uh -huh, and, you know, understandably. I mean, she was one of them, but she was very giving and very lovely. And very nice. we called her uh, show Writing Lessons with Jackie Machard because she's written, I don't know, 30 bestsellers uh -huh. or something like right, that. Right, right, yeah. right. That is exciting. So, so, how is Books in the World entwined with the Cape Cod? Writers. Writers Center. Yeah. Well, it's it's produced by it. The cable TV station in Dennisport makes the uh, space available, but the production is all done by volunteers from the Writers Center. Oh, I didn't know that. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. So you want to yeah. make a plug for this fabulous Writers, writers Convention Center. that's coming yeah, up I in do. August. Yeah, I do. I want to. I was talking about teaching authors or giving them the opportunity to learn about publicizing, but um, if if they come to the Cape Cod Writers' Center's 57th annual conference, in um, it's it's held at the, the uh, Hyannis Resort and Conference Center, August 1st through 4th. It's a three-day uh, series of courses. There are about 44 courses being offered. Do you have to be a writer? You have to want to pay for your course. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Put the time yeah. across and pay yeah. for your course. There are three-day and two-day and one-day courses. And you told me there was a class about interviewing, which I think sounds yeah. fascinating. Yeah. I'd love to right. go to that. And the other thing that's fun is that there's always a keynote speaker. And this year is Casey Sherman, who is pretty well known. He's the one who um, wrote the Ice Bucket Challenge that became a movie. and. Um, the the one about the Boston Strong about the marathon oh, bombing. Oh, right. Yeah, his his feature film, The Finest Hours, was about the Coast Guard. Um, right. Wreck the wreck the wreck in 1953 off Chatham, and the Coast Guard actually rescued those people. So that was a full length feature film. So Casey Casey's a Barnstable yeah. High graduate, which I didn't know. I didn't know that I either. Isn't that at, impressive? Yeah, looked into this. And he is going to do the luncheon speaker. And, How nice. Um, you can go, 28 bucks. Fantastic. <laughs> I have one last question for you. What are you reading right now? What I am reading right now, um, can I tell you about the what I just finished? Sure. Leading Men um, by Christopher Castellani, who, which is a book about Tennessee Williams and his lover, Frank Merlo. And during the years that Tennessee and Frank were together, Tennessee wrote all his great plays, from Streetcar Named Desire to Rose Tattoo. And the book is, the premise is that those were good years for Tennessee Williams, and after that he didn't write as well. Oh, <laughs> so it's interesting. Quite an interesting. He needed a muse story. to help him with yeah, his writing, do you had, think? He was a muse, he took care of him, he loved him. Uh -huh. It's a very uh -huh. special book, I liked it a lot. Oh, good. Yeah. And but you, you have what? one, yeah? I'm gonna read next is Becoming, um, oh, Michelle Obama's book. I am, well, I'm reading two books at the same time, which I don't it usually does. do, yeah. but I am almost done with Becoming. And I absolutely love it because I love her. I wanna say, go to yeah. the Cape Cod Writer Center Conference and you can learn about editing and, and rewriting and and when you asked me about her, um, usually you find out that authors have gone through many drafts and they have many readers, trusted friends, professional right. editors. It just takes a long time. Oh, I think that's all the thank yous at the end of the book. They're yes. always thanking people yes. for yes. doing that. Yeah. Well, 
We don't have any more time left, I'm afraid. We have to take a break, and then we're going to come back with a very interesting guest at her studio in Falmouth. So keep watching. And Madeline, thank you so much You're for welcome. being on today. You're it's welcome. a pleasure meeting you. Me and I can't wait to interview my first author. Great. We're going to be really happy to have you. Oh, good. Thank you. I have found the best kept secret in Falmouth. So let me tell you, the other day I was down here for something. I saw this store. I wandered in. It's called Setting, and I met the owner, Andrea Law, and I went out of my mind at how adorable the store was. Then I found out that there's more to this store than meets the eye. Andrea, hi. Oh, you are so well, excited to have you. you on the show. Thank you. So, you have this gorgeous shop, yes. but you do other things also. Yes. Tell us. Well, we do interior design, we do staging, we you do, do paint staging. classes. What does that mean? Staging, what it is, is we'll go into homes and we'll stage them for sale. Okay, yeah. terrific. And what? And you do classes? Yes, we do all kinds of art classes with our local artists and we do classes with the Annie Salone. Uh, we do a bring your own piece class, we do a one-on-one class, we do an iron orchid design class. Well, we I do have all to tell kinds. you, I, I knew about the classes before we started this interview and I have six girls that I want to bring here one night. There's wine involved, yes. any number of women can come <laughs> here and do a class. Okay, fabulous. The store itself has many, many different artists in oh. here. It's not just your stuff or your... No, right? We have we just did a count this morning. We have 16 artists in the store. 16 yes. artists? All kinds of different artists. We have um, oil artists, we have uh, acrylic artists, we have resin artists, we have uh, soap artists, we have all local authors. Oh, and by the way, everything's local. Um, we have jewelry. Um, artists, we have custom signs. I have to yeah. be honest, I came to the store a little bit early. I've already purchased two things that I absolutely love. How did you get into this business? Well, my background is retail. I worked for The Gap, I worked for Victoria's Secret. Um, I've also done event planning and interiors for the last 30 years. Um, so I came out here, I was working on a project in the Brookshires. My family had a healthy living center there uh -huh. and um, so I redesigned it I did their marketing branding you name it so that's what I did that's why and then I fell in love absolutely fell in love with the East Coast you did and you yeah. fell in love with Cape Cod also huh Oh, it's beautiful. Every day you discover something new that you love. I agree yeah. with you. I yeah. agree. And I've discovered this store, yeah. which I'm so excited because the reason I have this beautiful um, outfit on <laughs> is you are going to you let cute. me try. You show, give us a demo of what you can do mm -hmm. with chalk paint. Yes, Annie Salone chalk paint. Annie Salone is the maker of chalk paint. So it's a beautiful, rich, thick paint. It goes on smooth. There's no prep work anymore. Um, you don't have, all you have to do is wipe down your piece. You don't have to sand it? No, nope, nothing. Like okay. No, so two coats of paint, then you let it dry, you distress it a little bit, and then you seal it. So you seal the paint with either, um, girls, do you have our lacquer and our, is that gone? We're getting some lacquer and and some wax. So, you either use Thank wax, you. which kind of looks like Crisco. Thank you. And what this does is it seals the paint. We're going to take a break. When we come oh. back, we're going to use the wax, right? Mm -hmm. And the sealer and the well, paint. We're going to paint this first. Okay. Then we're going to wax it and oh. we're gonna do a little design on it. Fantastic. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. I just want to tell you before we go, I have zero artistic talent. You don't have to have talent. I mean, you can do amazing things with this paint. You have to be an artist to do really great things with it. Really? Chalk paint. No, so excited. Okay, yeah. we'll be right back. <laughs> We're back. I'm nervous. I'm doing, helping to do my first chalk painting, which by the way, chalk, the word, but there's no chalk involved no. in this, right? No, there's no, no, no. No, okay, show us what to do. Oh, we have assistants. Would you introduce your Yes, this assistants. is Ann Breuer. 
and this is Marlena Golding, and they've been with me from the beginning. And they're wonderful artists. Yes, yeah. I and found that out. Really You're are. very lucky to all have each other and be together. Show me. Okay, so we're going to be working with Provence, and we're going to be working with Pierre White. As you can see, this paint is a nice, rich, thick paint. Mm. It's beautiful. It's, uh, oh, it's smooth, and, it, and a little goes a long way. Okay. So here, you take the small one. So we're going to dip our brushes in. To the white. Yep, to the white. There you go. And then we're going to start painting. It's like marshmallow. Yeah, it's wonderful. See how oh, easy that I'm so is? Excited. Look at it. I'm, I'm telling you, you don't have to be an artist to do amazing things with this paint. Okay, but yours looks a lot better than mine. No, you know what? My students all the time will call me up after a class and they're like, I did it, I did it. Or if they have questions, I feel like I'm the, the doctor of chalk paint. Okay. If you hold it down a little bit like that and oh. really get it into the wood like that, it'll oh. go much yep. farther. See? Okay, good tip. <laughs> Marlena, is she doing a good job over there? She's got it covered. Good. <laughs> oh, I get it. She's got but it covered. See how I like that. See how cute. beautiful and smooth this paint yeah, is? Yes, I do. Just do nice. Maybe long that's strokes. how they got the word chalk. Now, if you ever see Annie Salone painting, she does something like this. Oh, okay. she's just she's an amazing artist. But I kind of like just a smooth. So you detail. have these smocks on, so yes, you can do this. Exactly what me. we do. <laughs> How's this? Relatively fast. Okay. Yes. So this will dry within what you want to say ten minutes? Oh yes. Oh, yeah. that's very. And then nice. you can apply your second coat. It's that easy. Okay, so. We'll take this and we'll take another one that's been coated a second time, or that's are we going to do it on this one? Nope. Okay. So, Anne, will you take this away yeah. for us? Okay. And we're going to dip our brushes right in here. Oh. You know what? Okay. Should I get that? Yep. There we go. So? So we, we finished. So, like, you know, this is what it would look like with two coats of white paint. Right. Okay. So now we want to add a little detail to it. And it's so easy to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do this. Now watch. So I already taped it off for you. So we are, we actually did this as a class, and the women loved it. So I'm going to have you paint your Provence between your tape. Okay. So the tape is there so that if I mess it up, yeah. it's okay. No, it's like making you, it's actually making a stripe. It's giving your. It's going to give your piece a little bit of detail. Look like a stripe yes. to you? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, when we remove the tape, you're going to be amazed. Do this? Sides, yeah. <clears throat> I think I have a new career. <laughs> you know what this is? A lot of women are uh, retiring out here. Yeah. And they need something, a hobby to do. And this is the perfect one because, again, you get these amazing results. You don't have to be simple. an artist to yeah. do really creative yeah. things. Love you just it. have to learn a little technique and you're off yeah. on the, you're just off on. Put this in there. Yep. And so now, just this easy, we're going to peel off the tape. Now, actually, you know, I'd be a little more careful. I wasn't trying to do this in a quick manner. And when you pull off the tape, you get a nice looking. Yep. You get it like, now watch this, when I peel this one off. I have to laugh because Annie said she used to be a manicurist and I'm thinking to myself, boy. Well, you know what, this is a water-based paint. So it, you know, if you do get something on your clothes or on your hands, it just washes off nicely. Okay, so that's the first one. Where's my assistant? Right, Thank you. Let's get the other. Uh... Where's the beginning? I don't know. So this is something to remember. Always remember where the tape started. Thank you. Okay. Oh, so oh, in our class, that women, they'll get even more creative and they'll like put their zip code or um, their favorite number. Well, how do they do the numbers? Do you know? A stencil. Oh, so we'll stencil? use a stencil okay. or we'll use a stamping and then they'll put their number, and then we polyurethane this. Beautiful. I like that it's, idea of the zip yeah, code on that. But this is just a little something you could do. It's endless you the do things you can do with you this. You do mirrors. Yes. You do anything. Yeah, so with this paint, you can paint on metal, oh. wood, you can um, fabric. You can even dye fabric with this paint. It's, it's incredible. It's amazing okay. paint. All right. We don't have a lot of time left, but I have to tell you this. Bring your friends, come in here and go shopping. 
bring your friends, come in and take a class. There are all kinds of really cool art classes and they have food and drink downstairs <laughs> in a beautiful location. Thank you oh, so no, much for joining you. us. I love this. Thank you, Annie. This oh, was God great. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And we will see you next month. Have a very nice spring or will it be summer when we see you next? Thank you.